Hey guys, welcome to another Open Deck Studios video. In today's video, we got System Test 3. That's right, I finally got around to putting up um, some new alarms and setting it up again. It's been so long, I've been busy doing all kinds of stuff, so it's finally around. Um, I still have the AC loss thing. Um, I fixed the phone failure. In fact, I just recorded this video, but I screwed up on it and I decided I'm just going to redo the whole thing. I found out the problem was... Um, in the installer menu, I think it was 47, or 47, phone system was still on, even though I swore I turned it off. So, it's now set to zero, and it's now working. I, I don't have a fault, so hopefully it stays like that. I still have the fault with the AC loss, and the screen doesn't stay on, just because I don't have the right power supply, and it thinks it's in battery power. <laughs> I don't know, but it does that. So hopefully I didn't spoil. I don't think I did. So the this is already the same. I don't remember the model. I'm going to bypass. Uh, I don't remember how to bypass on this thing. All right, well, it's gonna go off. <laughs> it is a, oh, come on. 5140MPS-1. Trying to go to one extra stabilization, but it's not pulling focus quick enough. There you go, 5140 MPS-1. And then the exceeder is still up, the wheel lock, HSR is still up there. That hasn't changed. I don't remember the candela it's set at and the candela strips for whatever reason I got it were like broken. So who knows? I think it's on 75. I might be wrong. I know it's bright and you're like, well, what's the change? Well, here's a hint. Yeah, the wave two is gone. I put in a remote strobe only and this is a system sensor S1224MC, S1224MC system sensor. And the little top clip broke because I've used it quite a bit, pulling it off to wire it. So it's just being held in with the tension of the wires in the back. Yeah, I know, it's jank. Um, I'm planning to put the Wave 2 right back up, so in the past I've put electrical tape around that post and stuck it for a friction fit. Anyways, enough talking, it's already been 3 minutes and 50 seconds almost, so let's go ahead, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this in 3, 2, 1. Well, <laughs> that's okay, I was gonna key test anyway. Go ahead and reset this. Um, in case you didn't catch that, I said that's okay because I was going to key test. I did pull here, but because there's no key, it just flopped because it didn't have enough tension from that magnet. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> Jeez.
that was a royal pain. I think it it is gonna do it again. Okay. Dang. <sighs> All right. Well, then that's why I need to get a key for it. So I don't remember if the last video if I had this or not. But the motion detector that was up there is gone. And I now have contacts there at the base of my door. And if we go ahead and you can see it works. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, Quick arm, pound away. Armed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go. Open it and close it. I don't think I need to do that, but. Here's my fish. Somewhere, oh, they're there. All right, so I just finished arming. Armed away, all secure. So, go ahead and bump the exposure up as much as I can. Disarm system or alarm occurs. Well, I'm going to ignore that. Pretend like I never saw it. There's the remote strobe. Come on. Don't know why it wasn't turning off there. Um, that was pretty loud. <laughs> Noticeable change when the, uh, alarm on the keypad goes off. You don't think it's that loud. I mean, it's not very big. I wonder if I can just swing it now. Like that. But, uh, it's, it's pretty loud. And I'm gonna do something real quick here. Don't want to get this LTTstore.com when desk pad screwed up. I just fell. Cool. I'm all right, though. I didn't die. And that's why you don't stand on chairs that are unsturdy. As I do it again. That hurt. And the mounting bracket for this is also broken. The little tabs broken on it. I'm about to commit an oopsie. Continuous. Hi. This is about to suck, isn't it? <laughs> I've only put this alarm on high volume once. There is a reason why it's been on high volume once. It's, uh, stupid loud. That, that's, that's the reason. I think that's making contact. So, um, 
Here go my eardrums because I don't have my ear pro on. Yep. Yeah, that's loud. Um, really loud. Jeez, man. Imagine if I had the Wave 2 up. And again, the reason why that sounds raspy is I converted that to a four wire, essentially. I took the contact, the strobe, that case, the, the um, horn off, and I cut the positive wire. And then I um, stripped both ends so I could twist it together to enable the horn or untwist it to disable it. Well, the other end of that strip broke. Piece that, the soldered piece on the piezo actually broke off so it's just like pushed behind it making contact so it's causing it to have a little bit of pressure on it and changing the, the sound but it sounds kind of cool it sounds raspy and old um again eventually i hope to um get the right power supply so this doesn't do anything i mean if you pay attention it is plugged in and if i unplug it it doesn't go into trouble because it thinks it's already lost AC power. Um, if I unplug the battery, it'll shut off. Now, if I unplug the battery, it should go into trouble. Might take it a minute, but. I don't know. It's supposed to. You know the battery works because it just, but uh, whatever. What can I do, right? What can I say? Where's the positive? There it is. But um, yeah, it just I just need to get the right um transformer. I'm literally just using a transformer from something that I cut the end of. You can see, if you pay attention, I'm gonna dim the exposure down. When I touch the battery, that it brightens up. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna get close to it. See how it, like, is blinking? Maybe. See how it gets brighter? It's doing that because it is wanting more voltage. So dim, bright, dim, bright, dim, bright, bright, bright. Um, <laughs> so the battery's actually giving it more voltage. It's, it's kind of funny. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go. This wraps up system test three. Um, I'm going to go plug this in. My Apple Watch is going to die. Um, and again, I'll order a new transformer at some point. I also hope to get a uh, STI, either a pull station or a pull station for severe weather, and um, a water contact set of supervisory. If I'm going to do the water contact, probably not, but I'm definitely wanting to get a tornado um, pull station or push station. I just don't have 50 bucks, 60 bucks to spend. Fire protection equipment's expensive. Maybe one day I'll put this up. Um, it doesn't work too well because it's fast tone or it's code, I think it's code three smoke alarm tone. It sounds just like a smoke alarm. But the problem is it uh, when you have the fire alarm go off, it like, it's sporadic. It's not a real coding. But when the burglar alarm goes off, it goes code 3. Like, it doesn't work right. But that's it. That's my Honeywell Vista 15P with a 6150 keypad. Um, got a surprise coming up in the next video, I think. Here's a hint. Don't know. I might not do it. Peace. So let's try this again. 
Uh, fire alarm activation in three, two, one. Really? Let's try this again. Fire alarm activation in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, I give up. God, I moved my foot. Maybe that dented it in a bit more. Three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Heck yeah. Hashtag blooper reel. How to use a baton to fix that. Freaking. I mean. You have to use a baton to fix a fire alarm. Who would have thunk?